guys, I'm going to do a sensory project with you today. So I have a tray that I put ice cubes on. So you need some ice cubes. And then I have a container and I'm going to put some vinegar in. in it. Some vinegar in the container. Try that much. And then I'm going to make my vinegar blue. So I'm going to use some blue food coloring to make my vinegar blue. And then, if you have some pipettes at home or some little squeezers, I don't, so I'm going to use these to get the vinegar and the food coloring. And then you also need baking soda. And I know my friends know what happens when we do baking soda and vinegar, right? What mm -hmm. happens? So we're going to do baking soda, vinegar, and ice cubes this time. Mm -hmm. You ready to do some exploring, yes. Colin? Okay. Yeah, I think so this. first, show show us about the ice cubes. You noticed something really cool about one of the uh, ice cubes. What'd you notice? This is the tray. That's the tray, yeah. And this is the ice is actually full of ice cubes. It's shaped like the tray. It also has the doors of the tray. Right, when we took one ice cube out, it stayed in the shape of four. So tell me, how does the ice feel? Slippery and fun. Slippery and fun. Is it warm? No, and I and I do know something. It's, what? It's nice to play with ice in the sink. Ah, it is fun to play with ice in the sink. You're right. Today you're gonna play with ice on a tray. Does that sound fun? So the yes. first thing you're gonna and do. I'm wondering if experiment and we'll still be able to go in the sink it'll still be normal yeah you'll be able to play so the first thing you're gonna do mm -hmm. is you're gonna take some baking soda Colin oh, and I noticed this one has it a little bit too oh yeah so you're gonna take some baking soda Colin and you're going and to this one. you ready and this one and you're going to sprinkle it. the baking soda oh. onto the snow and make it snow, I mean onto the ice. Sprinkle baking soda onto the ice. Here, you wanna do that? Mm -hmm. Sprinkle a little bit of baking soda onto the ice and make the make it look like snow. Does that make your ice look like snow? There you go, now how does your ice feel? Now you got snow and cubes. And they notice like this, so this one's like it. It's like a little patch with snow in it yeah that does because look like snow huh with a patch in it because of the way it's shaped okay we're gonna put this back here so now you can use this and do you know how to get that water do you know how to get it yep <gasps> and then you can squirt some onto the ice with the baking soda Ooh. See how it was all fizzy? Because what happens when you have baking soda and vinegar? You can do more. Ooh, it feels so good. Mm. You want to do and some look more? What I just made. I just made some blue snow. You made some blue snow? Cool, now you can do more. There's lots of spots you can put that. Let's see if I can squirt some. Ooh, look at that. Do you hear the sound? Yeah. What sound does it make? Blue snow. Yeah, what sound did it make? A fizzy sound. A fizzy sound. So, fizzies. This one's going to make a lot of blue snow. This one made a ton of blue that snow. That one made a ton of blue snow. So, you need ice cubes. Baking soda, vinegar, and I put food coloring in it just so that we could see it better, and something to sprinkle it on there. There. You can also, so you can sprinkle the 
you can squirt it on and get some fizzies, or you could also do this. Watch this, Colin. You ready? So I can take an ice cube. What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to save some for leftover to do it after this video. Look at that. So you could put an ice cube in the water, too, to watch it fizz. Pretty cool. So there's many different ways you can do it. And you can keep going and going and going. So I hope you enjoy this sensory science experiment with ice, baking soda, vinegar, food coloring, and something to squirt it on. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye-bye for now.